Hey there, my name is Wellens. Welcome to Batman, the Telltale series. I'm sure quite a number of you are already familiar with, you know, Telltale's usual offerings and Batman as a franchise itself, so I don't think I need to talk too much on that end. Hmm, my familiarity with the Batman series? I'm not a really huge, I'm not at all a comic reader, so I don't really know much about the Batman comics, but I have played the Warner Brothers, the um, Rocksteady, Rocksteady games. So that's Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and also Arkham Origins by Iron Galaxy, but I haven't played Arkham Knight yet. I would guess that my familiarity level with Batman is like beginner level. Oh, hang on. I've also seen the films, of course, but that's pretty much it. Mm, speaking strictly about the games, though, Bruce Wayne is not someone that we see super often, so judging by the title screen here, it seems that we'll get some focus on Bruce, and it'll be interesting to see what Telltale Games' take on Batman is. While we're on the topic of Telltale Games, I also want to add that after playing The Walking Dead Michonne recently, my faith in Telltale has been kind of shaken up. So I'm really looking at the Batman series here to see if it's gonna make my faith further waver or is it gonna restore my faith? Hopefully the latter. Okay, so episode one, Realm of Shadows. Bruce Wayne navigates the treacherous waters of Gotham politics as a series of shocking allegations surface while Batman confronts Gotham's most notorious crime boss. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can just begin. Ooh, select a bat tech color. Your bat tech color determines the look of Batman's gadgets, gear, and UI. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Mm. Blue is obviously the more traditional one. Actually, my favorite color is blue too, so... But it feels kind of... Mm, I'll go for yellow. I'll go for yellow, how about that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. A little bit of customization here. Completely inconsequential, but hey, prettiness matters. <laughs> all right, Bruce Wayne, give me all you got. Whoa. Right off the bat. Ha, huh, get it? Bat? Ha ha ha! Oh, God. Get it open. On it. Harvey Dent. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh yeah. I don't know who the villain is for this series, but I hope it's not Joker, because we've seen him enough. Oh, Christ. Move in! Commissioner Gordon? No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh.
Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. Oh. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. With the smidge of blood. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. What are they doing here? It's not a bank, is it? It's the city hall. What are they trying to get here? What was that? Nothing. Whoa. So always gotta do this stuff in such a psychologically scary way. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Troy Baker, by the way. Come on! Come on! Who played Joker in Batman Arkham Origins? This guy has played so many Batman characters by now, it's not even funny. What's that thing on the bottom corner? Some sort of meter I'm trying to fill? Whoa, 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 what's this? Teach you to knock. Laura Bailey. Behind you, big boy. Close one, but no cigar. Payday. So. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. 
Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. All right, you asked for it. about hitting women. Vice versa. can play at that. Two of them now? Jesus! I got it! Wait, <laughs> wait, wait! Do not shoot! Come on, guys, is this really the time to be fighting? I think we should be getting out of here. We're both gonna get caught by the police. There you go. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh god my god! Don't shoot you. No! Wait! Batman? Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. That's right. Batman doesn't kill. Bye, Bat. Ow! Uh, bested by the lady. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. 
time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Modest. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> uh, no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. That's right. Bruce Wayne is an asshole. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. <laughs> ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? I don't need anything like that. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Not hmm? bad. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Yay for networking. Lovely. That's what billionaires gotta do. Especially to keep up with his facade. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. 
Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Excuse me. Or whatever it's called. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway... Thanks for reminding it me. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, you guys are real sensitive, you well, know? I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Oh, just let her stay. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. <laughs> well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. That's what I do. But how are you doing? What do you mean? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Whoa! Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. That sounds like bullshit. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Mm. Maybe you can change your mind. All right. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. He's in my house. I don't have to play nice. Yeah, I've been <laughs> in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. 
though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Let's not make a scene. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few You're minutes. You're in my house. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Wow. He thinks he owns this house. Never said I was selling. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. For now? He's trying to make Gotham a better place. For now? So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. For Harvey. Making me a billionaire. Do this, my god. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For don't our him off. city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. <laughs> Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Thank you, Alfred. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's going to get what's coming to him.
Batman, the Telltale series. Lots of different little things going on already.